Real quick, I just want to thank everybody that's made the relaunch of the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus possible. This has been a long time in coming, obviously. Been off-road a lot during COVID. Didn't know whether we were going to be back. Fortunately, with our partners at Apple and Flock and Universal Audio and Battleborn Batteries, a division of Dragonfly Energy, we have their president. Dennis Farah here. You can come on up, Dennis, just to talk for a minute. What we did on this bus, I'll let Dennis tell you in more technical detail, perhaps, but we've been looking for a green energy solution for the bus. So we replaced some crazy amount of weight of old-fashioned lead batteries with lithium-ion batteries, solar panels on top of the roof. We really now have a system that lets the crew members concentrate on their work with students because that's what this bus is about. It's about providing young people with free opportunities to create music and videos and short films. Also have Krista here from Gibson and Gibson Gives, one of our big partners. Chris is going to come up and say a word or two for us as well. But first I'm going to let Dennis say hello to you. Thanks, Dennis. Thank you, Brian. Wow, what an honor it is to be here. Um, I mean, my goodness, you, you're thanking us for providing a system, but it's just an honor to be involved in this, to be mentioned in the same con conversation as John and Yoko is, is just a freaking life's dream, honestly. Um, but, you know, honestly, uh, the ability to proliferate what we've been trying to do at Dragonfly Energy um, so Dragonfly Energy makes lithium ion batteries. Our brand is called Battleborn Batteries. It's named after the Battleborn state of Nevada. That's where we produce these batteries, up in Reno. Um, and the entire point here is to figure out how to make a sustainable power system. So this bus runs on gas, but everything inside it runs off of electrons. And so we're very proud to help provide the electrons for all of the, the equipment. There's 2.4 kilowatts of solar on the roof. But the problem with the sun is that it's not always shining and there's clouds. And if you want to have most of your power come from solar or wind, you have to be able to store the energy when the energy is coming in and then deliver it when it's needed. And that's exactly what batteries do. So this bus is a microcosm of what the entire power grid should look like, where you have more and more solar and wind because guess what, when everyone's got an electric vehicle, they're plugging it into the grid to charge. So as long as that energy is coming from solar and wind, we have a true sustainable power system. So hopefully, the entire world is like one giant John Lennon bus. Peace, thank you.